Got it. So, ready? Yeah. So we, we got the steel wool and the 9 volt battery, so we're going to set it down here. Smoke detector showing off. First fuels ignited are going to be uh, paper. The steel wool was ignited by the 9 volt battery, actually. That ignited the paper materials around it, some of the foam from the uh, sleeping bag pad. Um, got the cord cardboard, I'm sorry, the uh, paper, paper bag that it was all in. Hopefully that's going to be sufficient heat energy to ignite the side of the, uh, the couch. The styrene um, product coming out of the, uh, the stuffed animal there. transfer from the bag to the uh, upholstered sofa or the synthetic covered sofa or chair. Starting to release that polystyrene out of the stuffed animal. So the original materials look like they've, they're kind of dying down at the floor. But the next materials are the fuels ignited or, or the uh, upholstered chair itself. So now it looks like the uh, end table is um, ignited as well. So it went from the bag, so it went from the 9 volt battery to the steel wool, uh, to the paper materials, to the styrofoam material, the, the uh, pad, sleeping pad, then transferred to the chair, uh, then to the stuffed animal, and then now to the end table. We're not getting very much gas layer, but now we got the stuffed animal that's leaned over the top, so that might help spread the fire. A lot of the foam's coming out, spilling right on top of that fire. Hopefully it doesn't put it out. But it's completely emptied that stuffed animal. The polystyrene materials are starting to completely melt. Side of the chair is still pretty well involved. We got a light uh, gas layer about a little more than halfway down from the ceiling. Now we got the gas layer up top. You can see uh, it's turning black. Now where our flame lengths were about three feet tall, and now we're getting good um, heat flux, and, and the flame is actually touching the ceiling now. So we're getting some ceiling jet. It's extending out towards us. Now our gas layer is turned uh, a little more black. A lot of fuels in there. Temperatures are probably uh, so temperatures probably about 800, 900 degrees at the ceiling. Got some of the pictures uh, falling off of this off the uh, wall. We can see the the smoke moving out of the structure at a at a higher rate. So we're getting a lot of pressure in there, and the gases are starting to ignite. So we're about 1100, 1200 degrees at the ceiling, starting to get some reflective uh, radiant heat down the furniture. We got flame down low, and you can see we're getting our entrainment down low, low right. That turbulent spoke is, is starting to push out, but it's also sucking into that lower right hand corner, too. So this column is moving opposite of the column from cell one. So this is a, a ventilation driven fire for sure because there wasn't as many materials in, in cell one. So now we got flashover, um, fire to the bottom so we're in at flashover conditions now. You can still see the entrainment down low. Alright, ready when you are. We'll go and extinguish it there. Sweet.